now, 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 heavy, now, heavy, now, heavy, now, everybody sing that shit. If y'all want to figure out how I went from this to what I just showed y'all at the beginning of the video, keep watching. So, yeah. So, thank you, Elisa Hair, for sending me this wig. Let me let y'all know something. This box is in good condition. They don't got nothing to do with nothing. But here we go. So, I got me a 613 13 by 4 HD lace front, and it is 22 inches. Y'all, they gave you everything from the edge brush to the tie to keep the hair down, the... HD wig hat, which I appreciate a lot of wig companies doing now. It came with lashes, the silk scarf, and of course, a place to secure your wig. Look at these curves. Come on, like, it's giving what needs to be gave. Like, it's really cool, like the cool. Did I just say cool? Anyway, sorry, please look at the lace. It's HD lace. And one thing I will say, it's hard to mess up like 613 wigs when it comes to lace, but sometimes they be too thick, the color be off, but this is a really good balance. I don't remember what I was thinking in my head when I recorded this part, but I think it has something to do with a little Shirley Temple. So I'ma just like, I'm a little tea push. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. That's what I was thinking of. But yeah, like the curls are very much curling. And yeah, so y'all didn't need to see me putting on a wig cap. Y'all already done seen it 50 million times. So yeah, just grab the wig cap. This is the one they provided. Once again, it's an HD wig cap, so it don't have like a strong tinge to it. And even though these braids look crazy, I'm still eating. Um, but yeah, so I'm not gonna lie to y'all. My face is like this, cause when I first put it on, <sighs> I wasn't feeling it. It's nothing to do with the wig company, nothing to do with the wig, but it's the color. Like 613 wigs always take a moment to warm up to me. So this is me kind of stressing out. Like y'all know what hair stress look like. Like when you put something on and you like, oh my gosh, like, I'm so mad, this is not gonna work. But I'm trying to trust the process, so this is me trusting the process. But get into the lace, though. Like, HD, I think, yes. So, yes, this is me continuing to stress out, collecting myself, and then realizing, Buki, you're gonna eat it. You're gonna eat the girls up, because you always do. So we're just gonna get into the installation. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put our even hair glue on there. Y'all already know I use the same hair glue every time. So we're just putting some on it. Now, I always say just don't get it on your edges. And if you do, just take, like, with the small chance that a little glue get on your hair, when you take off the wig cap, just put a little alcohol on there so don't take your edges. Because y'all be like, why you use glue? Because it take your edges. It only take your edges if you don't put it on right, Pookie. So yeah, like, put that, take that glue off right. So I let it get a little tacky, then I pulled the wig down, like usual, same steps as before. Um, make sure you holding it down, and then you put the little tie on while you stop parting your hair. So the tie is just to let it dry and such, and I'm so happy that they provided that for me. Um, so I'm gonna do a side part. I don't, girl, get off of that. I don't usually do side parts, as y'all know, but we're gonna try one because I'm just trying to be a little different right now. And I didn't feel the middle part with the blonde, so I don't know. I'm already different with the blonde, so I might as well be different with the wig part. So, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. you It's all over my face. Like, I was not feeling it. I had to bring it to the bathroom. You know how some people do their makeup in the bathroom, some people do it in the bathroom, some people do it on the floor. I'm definitely a bathroom makeup girly, so everything I do is in the bathroom. So y'all know y'all get any wax. It could be any hair wax that you have. Um, cause you wanna, ooh. Cause you wanna lay down that uh, part. Cause you're making a new part. So just fiddle around with what you want. I'm not saying you gotta do a side part, but I just chose to do a side part and that's what it gave. Um, also, um, I will say with this blonde wig, I would go with a darker wig cap because you can see in the roots, you kind of see that little black under there a little bit. That's my hair. Yeah. So, yeah. But the part is just going to have to do. Like, I, I think I went with this part. Did I part it again? No. So, this is the part where I just cut the lace. And like I said, usually I use scissors, but this time, since I glued it down before, I'm going to go ahead and use this mother freaking razor, which they do recommend you use anyway, but that's a whole nother point. So, here I am. I already put the wax on it. I didn't get it on camera, but you put the wax on that part, and then you can use a hot comb. The bear, like, I just didn't have my hot comb, so this works too. Um, and this is where things start getting messy. So, I decided to put concealer but 
I didn't realize my concealer was so dark compared to this hair. And I tried to smudge it out with my beauty blender and it made it worse. So you'll see the panic start to develop on my face real soon when I realize, yeah, Pookie, you messed up. It don't eat. Like, why is my scalp that color? Like, yeah, the panic is definitely setting in. You can see it all over my face. But don't worry. We're, 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 we're going to fix it. I promise. Well, clearly, y'all see that it eats at the end. So it's actually amazing to see where I came from with this wig process. So this doesn't have to be as difficult as I'm making it. Just just skip this step. Just, just skip this step. What I'm doing right here, this is my mess up. Learn from my mistakes. So after I realized I made it worse, I... Had to reflect and just wipe it off. Um, and then this also made it harder because then it made my hair wet. Then I had to dry my hair again. Boop -de -boop -de -boop. But yeah, this is my attempt to get the concealer out of my wig part. Um, but I promise it's all going to come together. And honestly, this wouldn't be as bad if my concealer wasn't so orange. Like, I didn't have that orange tinge to it. But I'm, you know, my, my undertones is warm. So it makes sense. And then I didn't blow dry the roots. I just simply sizzled the roots that were wet with the barrel curl there so yeah i didn't make a lot of i didn't make a lot of good smart decisions here all right so i was actually stressed out i gave up and i just decided to start curling because i know me and i know when i start styling the hair i'll get a little more confidence in it so you know no technique to the barrel curl and it's the same barrel curl i always do uh, curl in or out against to the face against the face I don't damn know just curl it how you know you curl it um and I will say I'm happy I made this decision because after I started curling the hair I started feeling a little more confident um because honestly when you brush it out fresh out the pack it gives Barbie doll y'all know what I mean like Barbie you know when you had them Barbies when you were younger and you, you brush the hair and you like, kind of fluffy yeah, but yeah, once I started putting the, the curl, the barrel curl into it, I started eating, eating the girls up, eating the girls. So yeah, just a few little barrel curls and prayers later, I started to eat them up, like get into it. So yeah, Lisa hair did that. The hair is really soft. Like one thing I will say about 613 wigs, a lot of times they have an interesting texture and I would say this hair was surprisingly like really soft. So I like that about it. So all I did was run my fingers through it because I don't want them to be Shirley Temple curls. I kind of just wanted them to fall. So I just raked them with my hands and they went from tight curls to kind of like waves. Like I, I was feeling it. It made it look less intense. So I tried to go back in with... We, we just gonna not even act like that happened um because it was not it wasn't necessary so i just made a new part and yeah that solved everything um i was gonna do some baby hairs that's what you see right here but then i had to check myself into reality and say yo you i'll literally ruin the whole style if i try to do baby hair so this is me undoing what i had done because y'all know i cannot do baby hairs for the life of me so some things you're just not good at but here is the finalish look, getting it together. Um, I do wish that I put like, I guess because the lights behind me, you can see like the stray hairs that has nothing to do with wig and everything to do with the, my room is a little humid. Um, but yeah, like I could use some spray to put it down, but this is all their contact information and all the details to this wig is gonna are always gonna be in the description with links and all that. But I love this. Like I feel like I'm a different person. I don't feel like tailing this wig. Like I feel like hmm, Lexi or like a I don't know. Y'all know when they say blondes have more fun. Like I just look like I'm a good time with this wig on, and it honestly grew on me. And I'm surprised because wait, I should maybe get a a short blonde style but besides that um yeah it can go up in a little claw clip real cute like i love the lace i love everything about it so like i said thank you again yalisa hair for providing this hair go ahead and look at the details in the description if y'all want to know what's up and yeah let me know what y'all think about the hair rate it one through ten in the comments and if you choose to get this wig let me know your review because i love hearing what y'all gotta say about these wigs honey um but yeah love y'all bye